I wanted to start recording some of my favorite poems by other people. The first one I'll be doing is called Astrophil and Stella by Sir Philip Sidney. This is actually the first sonnet out of a sonnet sequence that is 108 poems long and it was written in the 1590s. Sir Philip Sidney was a contemporary of Shakespeare's and although most people agree that he's not as good a writer as Shakespeare, he actually started this whole sonnet craze in the 1590s. Like today we have young adult dystopian novels written. On the 1590s you had all these authors writing sonnets or sonnet sequences. And once Philip Sidney wrote Astrophil and Stella, other authors such as Shakespeare and Edmund Spencer started writing their own sonnet sequences. These sonnet sequences all dealt with the same theme, which is some sort of doomed love affair. So if you've read any of Shakespeare's sonnets, you know that they're usually like very melodramatic pleas for love. This sonnet sequence is Astrophil writing to his lover Stella. And if you know Greek, you know that astro is the word for star in Greek and phil is the word for love. So star lover and Stella is the Latin word for star. Loving in truth and fain in verse my love to show that she, dear she, might take some pleasure of my pain. Pleasure might cause her read, reading might make her know, knowledge might pity win and pity grace obtain. I sought fit words to paint the blackest face of woe, studying inventions fine her wits to entertain, oft turning others' leaves to see if thence would flow some fresh and fruitful showers upon my sunburned brain. But words came halting forth, wanting invention's stay. Invention, nature's child, fled stepdame studies blows, and others' feet still seemed but strangers in my way, thus great with child to speak, and helpless in my throes, biting my truant pen, beating myself for spite. Fool, said my muse to me, look in thy heart and write. 